This is day three at Yellowstone National Park. And today is the coldest out of all of them. How are you liking the cold weather? It's icy. Elsa's under attack, or Elsa's attacking us. <laughs> yes. Have my coffee super hot. I'm waiting for it to cool off a little bit because I don't want to burn my tongue. But you guys, it's so cold right now. It's 25 degrees and it's we're getting a little bit of snow. I think we're going to be getting some snow all the way until noon. I think it's like a 50 to 70% possibilities of getting snow we're getting snow now and it's super cold it's gonna be another fun day here at yellowstone national park so we decided to take a drive to lamar valley which is about a one and a half to two hour drive from the west entrance where we stayed soda butte cone Interesting fact about this place, this is where the last of the wolves were killed during the government's wolf extermination period of the past. This is also where the first reintroduction of wolves to the park took place. Be prepared for a bear encounter. Be alert, make noise, carry bear spray, and hike in groups. Like I mentioned before, we decided to take a drive up here hoping to see some wildlife. But the prime time to see wildlife here is at sunrise or sunset. Which means we would have to start at 4 in the morning since we're staying 2 hours away from here. And driving through the park during dark times is not recommended. So if seeing wildlife is something you really want to do, you need to plan a little better than us. I'm still very happy with the views. No wolves or bears today, but hey, there's bison everywhere. here we're gonna move on to the next stop today this is day three and we are moving to the beautiful and bizarre Norris Geyser Basin welcome to the hottest most acidic most dynamic geyser basin in Yellowstone walking into this place truly feels like I'm walking into a whole different world This is one of the most extreme environments on the face of the planet. Most of these thermal features have temperatures above the boiling point, which is 199 degrees Fahrenheit, due to the area's elevation. It also claims the record for the highest temperature ever recorded in any of the Yellowstone geothermal areas. not just the temperatures that make this place stand out. The colors to impress thanks to the combination of minerals and life forms. Buddy, you ready? Oh wow. You need a ride? Where are you going? Wow. Get them all so you're so pretty. Guys, if you come to Yellowstone National Park, 
you need to put this in your to do like must you have to visit this one yeah it comes it was like the prettiest view so far it was so much to see here i loved it and it's so far my favorite here at the park yeah. and that's hard to say but it is it's a fun walk even though it was super cold it was fun and it's april mid-april and it's freezing but it was totally worth it it was super nice agreed well freezing for us i mean we're coming from arizona so probably yeah, 20 degrees outside so we know it's I mean, still cold. might not be cold for you but it is for us <laughs> all right let's move on to the next one we have one more stop today and i cannot wait to see that one too because <laughs> it looks really nice in the brochure so we'll see let's go